Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. I'm <laughs> I can see you again. I'm very good. Thank you. Very, How very are good. you tonight? Ah, very good. Thanks, God. Okay, I'm happy you are good. Hello, Salvador. Hello, Julio. Hello, Morena. Hello. Felipe, Magdalena, Mario. Hello, Welcome to Hello, the class. Hello. Hello, Hello, Felipe. Welcome to the class. Jose Leonardo, welcome. How was your weekend? Did you enjoy your weekend? Oh. How was your weekend? Tell me. Was it good, bad, interesting? Did you do something uh, interesting so. last weekend? <laughs> Did you work? I studied English. Ah, you studied English. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, nice. Very good. Yeah. What more did you do? What did you do during the weekend? Do you remember yes. that? Good evening, everybody. Hello, Walter. Good evening. Welcome Hello. To class. Hey, Walter. Hello. The video. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody. <laughs> okay, so do you have any question about the platform exercises? Do you have a uh, question? Yes, sir. I have one question. Tell me, what is your question, Isidro? I had trouble with the lesson uh, lesson, let me, one lesson one. Lesson one. Lesson one eleven. One eleven. Eleven. Okay. What's going on there? I don't know. I'm going not to do anything special. Uh, okay. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you see the platform? You see, right. one point eleven. One point eleven. Is this the instruction set? Complete uh, the conversation with the correct form of be going to. Following down, this example. Get down. Get down. Get down. Eh, Esa. I don't know. I'm going. I don't know. I'm going to not do. I'm not going to. Ah, okay, very good. This is a negative. This is a negative sentence using a uh, going to. So it is something that won't happen in the future. So we the need to use, not. you need to use not after the verb be. So this is the answer. I'm not going to do anything special. Using that to be. Okay, let's see. If we are right, okay, that's I'm the answer. Not going to do. I'm not going, I'm not going to, do. To, do. to do. Okay, thank you. I'm not going to do anything special. So it's a negative sentence. It's a negative sentence that you see it going, going to do. Going to do. Uh, all right, all right. That's, that's yes. the problem. Okay, thank you for your question. Any other question? No. Problems, difficult answers here on the platform. No question. Okay, very good. When? I'm going to explain. Also. Any question, teacher? So, other example. Let's see. Um, ese era un ejemplo de una oración negativa utilizando el going to. So, vamos a hacerlo de la siguiente manera. Sería un plan que no va a suceder en el futuro, ¿verdad? 
Por ejemplo, el próximo fin de semana usted no va a ir de compras. So, usted dice, uh -huh. I'm not going I'm not to go, going to, to go. Shopping. shopping. I am not going to go shopping. Going to Yo no iré de compras. She is she not is going not to dance. She's not going to dance. So, they are not going to study English. They are not going to study English. So, eh, de esta manera hacemos oraciones negativas con el going They to, are not que, going. que era el ejemplo, ¿verdad? ¿no? Mm -hmm. oh, is it clear? Is it clear, guys? Sí. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ah, ok, very good. So, if you have any other question, eh, don't hesitate to ask, please. I'm going to help you with that. So, if you don't have any other question, let's start with tonight's class. The last class we were studying uh, the expression what's going on and what's the matter. What's going on and what's the matter. Estas fue el, las expresiones que aprendimos la última clase, ¿verdad? Y también vimos yeah. some body parts and some common illnesses. Do you remember the vocabulary about common illnesses? Enfermedades comunes. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Which are some of them? I have a headache. Okay, excellent. I have a headache. Mm -hmm. That is a nice sentence. I have a headache. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo un dolor de cabeza. Any other? I have a flu. Okay, I have the flu. Excellent. I have the flu. Sí, déjala. I have a rush. Okay, I have a rush. Very good. Any other? Um, a broken, broken arm. Okay, I have a broken arm. I have a broken arm. Tengo un brazo roto. Very good. So we're going to start with a review of that class. So welcome to the class number yeah. five. Uh, giving advices uh, using imperative sentences. That is the topic for tonight. So do you remember imperative sentences? What is an imperative sentence? What is an imperative sentence? Teacher, excuse me. Take rest. Mm -hmm. Ever. Yes, tell me. Can you check the WhatsApp? Yes, of course. I'm not, I'm not going to. Eh, I siempre me sale mal. Oh, I, IG is missing. Going. I don't know, I'm not going to do. IG is missing. Hace falta una G en going. Oh, oh my God. Just let me check it. Out. Okay, no problem. We are here to John. help you. The transition in between Spanish to English. Ah, okay, it's okay, no problem. That happened. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Is it correct now? Pretty good. Ok, muy good. I'm eh, happy to know that. Me imagino que probablemente quizás estaba bien como la había hecho, pero probablemente el problema siempre fue la G. <laughs> oh, probablemente. Right? Gracias. Thank okay. you. Thank por you eso, very much. Ok, por eso les pedí de favor que enviaran capturas, ¿verdad? Para ver cuál es el problema en el ejercicio. Yeah. Que ustedes lo en encuentren ese problema. Envíenme una captura para poder verlo, ¿de acuerdo? So, giving advices using imperative sentences. That is the topic for tonight. So, imperative sentence. Oraciones imperativas. Do you know what are imperative sentences? ¿Alguna idea que es una oración imperativa? Imperative sentence. Uh, ¿Algo que estás haciendo en el momento? Mm, no. Imperative. 
It could be, right? Las, utilizamos las oraciones imperativas para pedirle a alguien que haga algo por nosotros o para dar una instrucción. Ah, could you? Could también, you? También, también las utilizamos para dar consejos. Take. Por ejemplo, ¿se acuerda cuando su mamá le decía apaga el televisor? Anda a comprar, cerra la puerta, lava tu ropa. Esas son oraciones impera. Tibas. So we are going to study those tonight. But before we go to imperative sentences, we are going to have a review. So what's the matter with her? What's the matter? We studied this expression the last class. Uh, what is the meaning of this expression? Do you remember? What's the matter? Gripe, dolor de muela. Okay, very good. So uh, what is the sentence? Ella tiene dolor de cabeza. She, she has a headache. Okay, she has or she has? She has. has. She 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 Tooth. 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 So what's the matter with yeah, him? Which? What's the matter with him? He's a pain in... He have, he have a stomach. No. He has a stomach and pain. Pecho. How do you pecho. say pecho? Chest. 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 Okay. He have, he have a chest. Okay, I have two options. He has a diarrhea or he has, he has a, a stomach he has ache. A he has a stomach ache. Uh, what about uh, other picture is uh, or maybe he picture. or maybe he has a diarrhea. He has a sick. He has a sick. <laughs> he has a diarrhea. Yes. Let's see. He, he has, has a sick. Uh, uh, sick. Back pain. Back. 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 Yes. Okay. He back ache. Uh, he has a back ache. Okay. He, he has a sore throat. throat. Okay, right. very good. I no. need a volunteer who, no. wants, to, who no. wants to practice reading the sentence. Any volunteer tonight? She has a picture. Mm -hmm. Any volunteer no, tonight? Vaya Salvador. Me. Yes. Okay, oh. thank you, Walter. Can you please read the sentences? Okay. What's the matter with her? She has a headache. She has the flu. She has a stomach, a stomach. And the last one, she has a toothache. Okay, thank you. So ache. And final is headache. Headache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Okay. Toothache. 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 Okay. To fake. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Any other volunteer to read these sentences? Any volunteer? Just one. Just one. Just one. Okay. Okay, you see, Isidro, thank you very much. Tell me, please. Okay. Come on, Isidro. Come on, come on, come on. Do it, you can do it, you can do it. Very much, my friend. What's the matter with this? Uh, he has a uh, diarrhea. 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 Or diarrhea. Diarrhea. Oh, he has a stomach ache. He has a sore throat. He has a back ache. Okay, excellent. Almost perfect. Very good. Very good, Isidro. Very good job. Thanks a lot. Almost. <laughs> Let's go with these. Um, 
what's the matter and what's wrong? We study this, right? Y cuando alguien nos dice, I'm sick, I'm bad, uh, I'm awful, I'm horrible. So you say, what's the matter? What's wrong? Man. And the answer uh, could be the using mm -hmm. this, right? Uh, I have a cold, I have a fever, I have the flu, I am sick. She, um, this is the structure we are going to use with the very hub, right? I have a cold, she has, he has, they have, and we have. In, in these examples, I have a cold, she has a fever, they have the flu, he has, he has a headache. We can uh, we can also use the verb feel to answer these questions, and we are going to use this structure: subject, field, and an adjective. Un sujeto, el verbo feel, y un un adjetivo. So I feel awful. Me siento muy mal. I feel awful. Ella se siente terrible. She feels terrible. He feels better. He uh -huh. feels better. Uh -huh. Él se siente mejor. Uh -huh. I feel stressful. Me siento estre. I feel stressful. I feel stressful. Me siento estresado. Stressful. ¿Cuántos se sienten así después del lunes? After this Monday. Uh -huh. oh. I feel sleep. <laughs> okay. I feel stressful. Me siento, I, me siento estresado. Don't worry, right? Ya casi son las nueve. Just 45 minutes. So let's continue then. This is a review, right? Uh, look at this a small conversation. It's don't work too hard. Look at this advice. Don't work too hard. Don't what is the meaning of that advice? Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Any idea? So if you don't work very hard, always no trabaje demasiado. Okay, excellent. Very good. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. No trabaje demasiado. Podemos yeah, seguir ese consejo. No es muy pesado. Mm, yes. Yes. Don't work too hard. Lo malo que si no trabajamos así, verdad, nos despidemos. So be careful with this advice. So it's Doctor John, Doctor John, and Miss West in this conversation. Mm. And Dr. John say, hello, Miss West, how are you today? Not so good. Not so good. So uh, what's so wrong exactly? So what's wrong so exactly? I, and Miss West answer, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? The doctor asks, mm, why are you so tired? And Miss West answer, I don't know. I just can sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later, unos minutos después, uh, Dr. Muir said, I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay, and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. So look at this, um, she's sick, right? She's exhausted, she is so tired, and she has uh, some problems. Uh, she can't sleep at night. So what are the advices that the doctor give to her? Don't work too hard. Okay, no. excellent, that is one. Don't work too hard. Any other? And don't drink. Coffee, tea, or soda. Okay, look at this advice. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. ¿Quién sufriría con esa recomendación del doctor? Uh, probably everybody. <laughs> don't drink coffee. Don't drink tea. Don't drink soda. So, <laughs> don't drink. Okay, so no siempre, no siempre. So look at this. This is another advice. Uh, take one pill every night after dinner. 
is when yeah. tea is an instruction, right? Es una instrucción. Take one pill every night after dinner. Utilizando una oración imperativa. Take one pill every night after dinner. So, es una instrucción. Una orden. Así es. Eh, don't drink coffee sería un consejo. ¿verdad? Don't drink coffee. Don't drink soda. Una recomendación. Then, let's see the next. Here we have the imperatives. We have, we have two types of imperative sentences. We have positive and negative imperative sentences. In a positive uh, imperative sentences, we need a verb and a complement. En estas oraciones, we don't need a subject. No necesitamos un sujeto. No necesitamos un sujeto porque se entiende, ¿verdad? Que es el sujeto tú. Es para usted el consejo, tú. Es como tú, toma mucha agua, ¿verdad? You drink lots of water. Entonces, van a hacer con esta estructura. Bird plus complement. A bird plus a complement. Drink lots of water. Eat vegetables. Mucha agua. Come vegetales. Tea and aspirin. So, look at these advices. In negative, in the negative, we are going to need don't. Don't, bear it, and complement. Para recomendarle a alguien, ¿verdad? O darle el consejo a alguien que no haga algo. Let's see, for example, don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. Don't stress. Don't stress. Don't drink soda. Don't drink soda. In the other examples above, we have take a pill every four hours, rest in bed, drink lots of juice, don't work too hard, don't stay up late, and don't drink soda. So look at this. Don't stay up late. Don't step I late. Eh, what? Ever, what? ¿Qué significa eso? What's the meaning of don't stay that late? ¿Será no trabajes muy tarde? No te, no te levantes. Quedes... Ah, don't stay. Oh, it means that like no permanezca stay. despierto hasta tarde. Ah, don't stay up late. Don't stay up late. Lo que, lo que le decimos a nuestros hijos, seguir todos los días. Yes. And you say, go to bed at 8 o'clock p.m. Go to bed at 9 o'clock p.m. Don't stay up late. No esté despierto hasta tan tarde. Don't And the other one, place. don't drink soda. Don't drink don't soda. Don't drink so let's look some examples. Let's go with the next example here. Using imperatives. Look at this small conversation. I have a headache. And here are the advices. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Press, press a, lot. a lot. Don't, don't use, use your, cell your cell phone. Or computer. Or computer. And, and don't, don't watch, watch television. So I have here, how many imperative sentences can you see? Cuántas One, two, three, four, five. Five imperative sentences. Very good. So the first one, taste on aspirin. The second one, rest a lot. Love. Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. So I need to volunteers to practice this small conversation. Who wants to participate tonight? If no, I'm going to pick someone. Any volunteer? Okay, let's listen. La niña. La niña. Let's listen, Mag Magdalena and Luis. Magdalena, you are A. Luis, you are B. That's okay. I have a headache. Take some aspirin. Press a lot. Don't use cell phone or computer and don't watch television. Thank you very much. That was excellent. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Magdalena. Thank you, Luis. Let's see the example. I have diarrhea. 
And I have a diarrhea. So the advice is that you stay at home, brings lots of liquids, and don't eat too much. Any volunteer to practice this in my conversation? Me, please. Okay, Jose Leonardo and any other volunteer? Uh, Alpha, can you help me, please? Jose, you can start, please. Jose, Jose I have the idea. Stay at home, bring lot of liquid, don't eat too much. Excellent. That was excellent. Thank you very much. So just let me fix something in this sentence. Okay, is in this example. Let's give them a second. Yeah, as a second, I have that. Okay, here we go again. Thank you very much, Alpha and Thank you. I'm going to look for the correct slide to continue with the class. <clears throat> okay, here we go. This was the mistake, right? So it, I have a diarrhea. Now it is correct. Then look at the last example. I have a cough. I have a cough. Take cup syrup, don't drink cold drinks, and don't eat, and don't eat ice cream. Yes, that's right. No coma sorbete, pero no coma helado. Take a cup syrup. Cup syrup is jarabe, jarabe para la tos. Take cup syrup. Don't drink cold drinks uh -huh. and don't eat ice cream. Toma jarabe. Any volunteer to practice in this small conversation? Chico, jarabe. Jarabe para la tos. Yes, take cup syrup. Jarabe para la tos. Any volunteer? Me. Thank you, Julio. Julio and. Me. <coughs> Salvador, okay, excellent, thank you. So, can you please start, Salvador? I have a call. Uh, take calls, set up, set up. Uh, don't drink, cold drinks, and don't eat ice cream. Thank you, thank you very much. That was excellent, so I have a call. A cup syrup, don't drink cold drinks, and don't eat ice cream. Excellent. So look at this bird. Do you know the meaning of this bird? Eat. What's the meaning of it? Okay, excellent. Thank you. And which one of this bird is uh, eat in, a, in English? Sleep. No, eat it. Go. Go, excellent. Go. Uh, lavar, which one of these is lavar, lavar. in English? Wash. Wash. Wash, Wash. very good. Uh. Uh, caminar. Walk. 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 Okay. Walk. How do you say trabajar in English? Work. 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 How do you say escuchar in English? Listen. 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 How do you say dormir in English? Sleep. How do you say fumar in English? Smog. Smog. Very good. And how do you say relajarse? Relax. 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 Stress. Stress. Okay, so I have eat, sleep, work, stress, go, smoke, listen, wash, relax, relax and work. work. 
Okay, with the verb eat. Con el verbo eat. Can you give me an example of an imperative sentence? Don't eat much. Okay, very good. Don't eat too much. That is a good Don't. one. Don't eat Don't. too much. Any other? Don't eat. Don't eat. Come on. Don't eat. Va bien, va muy bien. Don't eat. No coma. Que. Eat vegetables. Don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. Okay, don't, don't eat too much. Eat, don't eat ice cream. Okay, yeah. don't eat ice cream. Por ahí escuché una que. Eat vegetables. Eat vegetables. Uh, don't smoke never. Okay. Don't smoke or never smoke. No. Never smoke. Okay. No, no podemos utilizar don en never, solo never smoke no, or no, don't no. smoke. Okay. Very good. So don't smoke. That is a good one too. Don't smoke. No. Any other? Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Very good. Don't work no. too hard. Let me choose another. Don't stress. Stay up Don't later. Don't stay up later. Don't stay up late. Uh, sleep. Sleep. Uh, how many hours? How many hours? So you eight can hours. Okay, then sleep eight hours. That is an advice for you. Sleep eight hours. For, for your body. Um, Healthy. Okay, to be healthy for your body, get enough, uh, let's see, restraint. And for a good health, you need to sleep at least eight hours. So I have these examples. Can you please read them? Here we watch, go. Wash yes. your hand every 20 minutes. Okay, excellent, very good. Wash your hand every 20 minutes. So I have here these examples. Don't eat fast food. Don't eat fast food. Don't go to sleep too late. Uh, walk 30 minutes. Don't stress too much. Go for a run. Don't smoke. Listen to your doctor. Wash your hands. Relax. And the last one, don't work too hard. So, do you listen to your doctor? Yes, yes. yes of course. Yes, of course. Ah, okay, that is important. That is a good advice. Listen to the advice of your doctor. Wash your hands. Of course, it's important yes. too, right? The doctor told me don't drink beer anymore. Ah, okay. drink and but, Isidro, but Isidro follow drink. <laughs> he <laughs> still drinks. Uh, okay. Still drink. Listen still to your drink. doctor. Listen to your yeah. doctor. It is important. Okay. Anyone in here to read the first four advices? From one to four, any volunteer to read those sentences, please? Don't eat or don't eat fast food. Next one, please. Don't go to sleep too late. Thank you, Felipe. Excellent. Any other volunteer? Walk 30 minutes. Walk 30, 30 minutes. Thank you, Luis. Don't stress. Don't stress too much. Thank you, Julio. Excellent. Don't stress too much. Go for a run. Thank you, Jonathan. Go for a run. Don't smoke. Thank you, Morena. Thank you, Walter. Don't smoke. The next one. Listen to your doctor. Your doctor. Thank you, Salvador. Thanks a lot. Listen to your doctor. The next one, please. Wash your hands. 
Thank you, Mario. Wash your hands. Relax. Thank you, Morena. Relax. Don't, Don't work, work too, hard. too hard. Don't, Don't work, work too hard. hard. Don't, Don't work, work too, too hard. hard. Thank you, Cidro. Thank you, Luis. So Not let's see. Hard. Uh, pay attention to this. Relax. Relax. It's an advice, right? Podemos utilizar un solo verbo para dar un consejo en una oración imperativa. So, relax. Ahí ya es una oración imperativa, aunque solo esté un verbo. So, usted puede decir, don't relax. Relax. Solo estamos usando un verbo. Relax, baby. Relax, <laughs> baby, with me. <laughs> it's better if we continue with the class. <laughs> Rest in my arm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'm learning. Okay. Quickly. Okay, now let's see. We are going to we are going to do this activity. So you are going to choose uh, one of these numbers. You are going to tell me the number and we are going to discover what is under that number. And here are common illnesses and you are going to tell me some advices for that illness. And uh, let's see, for example, you can find diarrhea, which is a good advice for a person who has diarrhea. What is a good advice for that person using imperative sentences? Wash your hands. Okay, wash your hands. Any other advice for a person who has a diarrhea? Wash the, wash the vegetable. Okay, wash the, wash the vegetable. vegetable. Don't eat too much. Don't eat, Don't too, eat much. too much. Don't eat too much. Okay, then you are going to choose the number. Don't, you are going good. to tell. Don't eat fast food. Don't eat fast food. Okay, who wants to start? Who wants to start? Quien quiere comenzar? Which number do you want? And also we are going to practice number, right? Do you know how to read in English these numbers? The first eight hundred eighty-nine. Eight hundred ninety-nine. Eight hundred ninety-nine. Okay. Eight nine nine. Five hundred. Twenty-six. Okay, number by number. No, you you have to say ochocientos noventa in English. Eighty-nine. Uh, 899, no. Very good I, try, but no. 899. Okay, excellent. 899. 526. Okay, but let's see what is under this number. Okay, a cold. What is a good advice for a person who has a cold? I have a cold. Okay, I have a call. That is a good sentence. I have a call. So, which are some advices for that person who has a call? Take an aspirin every eight hours. Okay, take an aspirin. Very good. Take every, an four every, eight hours. Every, four, every four hours. Every four hours. Every four hours. Take a, a coach syrup. Okay, uh, take some cold syrup. Yes. Any other advice? ¿Qué le decía mamá cuando tenía un resfriado? Cubras. Ah, okay, remedies. Home <laughs> remedies. Home <laughs> remedies. Which one, for example? Home remedies. Day hot tea. Okay, drink hot tea. Excellent. Drink hot tea. Okay. Anyone? Don't, don't eat, eat uh, ice, ice cream. cream. Okay, don't eat ice cream. It's another good advice. So drink hot tea and take aspirin. And don't eat ice cream. 
stay at home, rest a lot. So all of them are advices. Very good. So which number do you want? Next, next, just a number, tell me. Five hundred and twenty-six. Five hundred twenty-six. Ah, oh, the next one. It's that is the next. So five hundred twenty-six. Five hundred twenty-six. Yes. Twenty-six. Okay, wow. nine. So two fake. Which are some good advices for a person with two fake? She has two fake. Okay, a good sentence. That is a good sentence. He has a toothache. Él tiene un dolor de muelas. ¿Qué Take consejo that. podemos darle a esa persona? Take a spring. Take an aspirin. Very good. Take an aspirin. Don't, don't eat cold things. Okay, don't eat cold food. Cold. Don't eat candy. Don't eat candy. Go to the dentist. Okay, excellent. Go to the dentist. Go to your dentist. Listen to your dentist. Okay. Go to the dentist. Don't drink coffee. Okay, excellent. Okay, two more, two more. Uh, tell me a number. Uh, I'm going to take out one number. Show me. A brush your teeth. Don't brush every, every three times. Three, three times a day. Okay, brush your teeth three times a day. Very good. That is nice. Any other number? Just one. Just one, my friend. Do it. Do it. Do it. Tell me which one. Go, 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 go. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. 25? What is it? 25, 25, 25? Sorry, I don't have a 25. Imaginary. Mire, con eso de la mala sería, I take anaden, que tome anaden. Ah, ok. Take anaden. Take anaden. Take anaden. Le iba a decir, I drink, I drink, I drink, y me acordé que I drink es bebiendo, algo así. In this case, we're going take. take, yes, take, take and anadem. Take, take is very, very well. Take and anadem. Okay, uh, 2022, is it okay? Yes, 2022. Sore throat. Sore throat. Dolor de garganta. Yes. Sore throat. A ver. Isidro have sore. No le apreten al cuello. Sore throat. What is good for a sore throat? Take a vinagre. Take a vinagre. Take a chicken soup. Take a top syrup. Oh, you say take a cup syrup? A cup syrup, yes. Okay, okay, nice. Don't, don't eat ice cream. Take, don't eat ice cream. Don't eat ice cream. Take a hot tea. A hot tea. Drink hot teas. Okay, don't, don't, don't speak hot. aloud. Don't speak aloud. Don't speak aloud. Oh, don't, don't speak much. Don't speak too much. Don't speak aloud. Okay. Very good. Don't speak too much. Very good, very good advices. Don't, the last number, choose the last one. Choose the last number. Don't please. sing. Don't sing. Don't sing. Excellent. Don't sing. Excellent advice. Don't sing. Don't no ronques. Don't, drink. No ronques. don't snore. Don't, drink don't snore. Don't snore. No ronques. Uh, don't snore. <laughs> don't drink soda. Cold. Oh, okay. Don't drink cold don't soda. Drink Cold, cold so. thing. Okay, very good. Nice, nice advices. Let's change. Uh, which other number? The last one. Just the last one, please. Which one do you want? 60. 
But let's say some advices for uh, a fever. Uh, is, is it okay, my friend, take a shower? Take a shower? To slow the fever? To slow the um, fever? Yes, in, in some extreme cases, yes. Take a shower to slow the fever. Yes, take a, take a shower. Take a aspirin. Take an take aspirin. aspirin. Take an aspirin. Take an aspirin. Take an aspirin. Uh, drink hot tea. Okay. Hot. Drink hot tea yeah. with a fever. Drink hot tea. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Nice. Take a chicken soup. Take a chicken soup. Soap. Drink too much water. Oh, okay. drink too much water. That's it, okay. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Water. Drink a lot of water. 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 Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, oh. Let's continue then with the class. I drink mantis. 69. Yeah. Do you want another one? 69. 69. Nice. What's 69? 69. 69. Broken leg. Oh my Nine. God, broken leg. Hmm. What are some good advices for a so person sorry. who has a broken leg? Go to see a, doc a, a doctor. Go to the doctor. Very good. That is the best advice, man. To see Go a doctor. To doctor. That is the best advice, always. Yeah. Go to the doctor. Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Yes. Usar, ver, ¿cómo se llaman las que se usan acá? Las Pérula. raquetas, Pérula. Raquet... maletas, ¿cómo se llaman las Muleta. que van acá? Muletas. 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 Pero en inglés, ¿verdad? Isidro, tú y yo, foreigner. Ah. Isidro, tú y yo, foreigner. Ah. Ok. That is an interesting word, right? How do you say muleta in English? I don't know. Será un nombre propio, teacher, muleta. No, not really. Oh, hold, holder, no. It's a combination de mula. <laughs> Crunch. Crunch. Muleta. Crutches. Holder. Uh, crutches is the word in English. Crutches. How do you write it? C-R-U-T-C-H-E-S. Crutches. 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 You need crutches. Yes, crutches. She crutches. She need. Or she need. That is the word, crutches. Use crutches. It's C-R-U-T-C-H-E-S. Crutches. Don't walk without crutches. Okay, that is a good sentence. Don't walk without crutches. Yes. Okay. Let there is just one, just one. Go to the doctor. Yes. Oh. There are no more. There are no more. 
Don't move a lot. Go to the doctor. Okay. Don't go to work. Don't walk too much. Don't, yes. don't, don't walk. Yeah. Don't go to work. Don't walk. Don't walk too much. Right. Don't, don't run. run. Don't play soccer. Don't, don't run. run. Rest, yeah. rest play. a lot. Rest a lot. Don't, don't dance. Don't fight. Don't, don't fight. fight. Don't fight. Don't um, jump. Don't, don't jump. jump. Very good. Don't jump. Now look at this. We have this small reading, and this is 10 simple ways to improve your health. We are going to read 10 simple ways to improve your health. Uh, believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 ease in 10 simple ways. Here are 10 advices, right? For you to improve your health. The first one is eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. So eat breakfast always. That is the first advice. Do you eat breakfast every day? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Sorry. Yes. Every okay. For go to work. Two okay. eggs. Two okay. Eggs. Two eggs for breakfast. Uh -huh. uh, second one, go for a walk. Uh, Think time. And go for a walk. Walking is good, is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. So go for a walk for you to get relaxed. Three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. So what is floss? Do you have an idea? I don't know. Floss dental. Oh. Floss your teeth. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, Beautiful flossy. <laughs> okay, so floss your teeth. Don't just brush yeah. them. No solo se cepille. Flossing keeps your gun healthy. Mantiene sus dientes saludables. The next right. one, number four. Any volunteer to read number four, please? Drink, 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 drink a cup of, of water, water every, every day. Every day. Water helps your body. Water helps your body in, in many, many ways. ways. Okay, excellent. Drink eight, a cup of drink water every day. Of water every day. Every day. So water helps your body in many different ways. A stretch for five stretch minutes. For five what is the meaning minutes. of a stretch? Estirarse, será. Yes, you're right. Estirarse. ¿Por cuánto tiempo? Just five minutes. minutes. For five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. So, so let's see. Be, um, before, before, before well, you take a shower, is well, it okay? <laughs> before you take a shower, okay. Yeah. Para Estoy agarrar serio. calor, dice. Para agarrar yeah. calor. <laughs> well, see. Say. I do it every day. I do it ah, every okay. day. You are doing good then. Uh, Excellent. Where are you? Seat belt. Okay, if you drive seat a belt. car, please wear a seat wear belt. Seat belt. Seat wear a seat belt. Seat belt. Every, Every year, year seat, seat belt, belt saves a thousand of life. Of life. Excellent. And so as you can see, how important it is that you wear a seat belt? Yes. Uh, so no solo good. cuando vean el retén, ¿verdad? Always yeah. Yeah. wear a seat belt. Yeah. For safety. Yes. Do it yes. for the culture. Do it for culture, for your security. Yes. yes. Okay. Very good for advice. Right? Do it your for family your security. Is, your family is waiting for you at home. Ah, okay. <laughs> that, is, that is an advertisement on TV, right? Sometimes. Your family is waiting <laughs> for you at home. Waiting for you. The family loves you. Yeah, so it's a good advice. Where a seat so do it for them. Do it for them. If you want to do it for you. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. Do something to challenge your brain. Do a cross purpose. A real new book. Yes, for example, do a cross purpose or read a new book. Cross purpose is like crucigramma. Say a travel. Okay, say a tongue twister. Tongue twister. 
Yes, that's another mm -hmm. exercise. Be yeah. Rain. Okay, or read a new book, right? Reading is important too. Okay. And number eight, protect your skin. Use protect lots of your moisturizer skin. and sunscreen. Moisturizer okay. is crema humectante in sunscreen, oh. bloqueador solar. Ah, hasta ahorita July, me lo sí. No sabía qué significa July. moisturize. Moisturize. Okay. Okay. Crema no, che, July, gracias. Just that. Okay, and sunscreen, bloqueador solar, ¿verdad? sunscreen. Get enough calcium, get enough calcium. On number nine, calcium. your bones need, need, need it. Need it. foods like yogurt, milk, cheese, have calcium. All right. Okay. I, eat, I eat cheese uh, and cream. Uh, uh, what do you see the best in cuando? How often? Often? Uh, from, you say from time to time. Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, I sometimes time. eat. I sometimes some eat cheese and, cream. cheese and cream. And yogurt too. And yogurt too. So it's, All right. it's good for you, Ray. You need calcium. Get enough calcium. And the last one, number 10, take a time take a out. Time out. Think take a time, a time out. out. A break. Of right. about, about 20, 20 minutes. About yeah, 20 relax. Minutes. Relax. Don't, In other words, don't, relax. Don't work too much. Hang out and break up. About 20 minutes. Get up and walk. Something different. For example, get up and walk and sit down and listen to music. Don't work too much. Okay, so so you can you can put in practice this, right? You can practice these ten simple ways to improve your health, right? So eat breakfast, go for a walk, floss your teeth, drink a cup of water every day, stretch for five minutes, uh, wear a seat belt, do something to challenge your brain, protect your skin, get enough calcium, take a time out, a break of about twenty minutes, and you are going to improve your health a lot. So, and all of these are examples of imperative sentences for giving advices. Very, very good advices. Yeah. I'm gonna, I gonna to practice. I gonna try to put in practice every day. Very good advices. Okay, nice. Thanks a lot. So you are going to find this reading on the platform. And I have some questions for you. What can we do for challenging our brain? What can we do? Puzzles, puzzles. Okay, puzzles. We can do crossword puzzles. Puzzles. A new, a read new book. Okay, reading books. Okay, very good. Mm. Reading new books. Mm. Second question, what does our bones need? Calcium. Calcium. Calcium, calcium. Get, calcium. excellent. Get, get calcium. calcium. What is a good exercise to stay healthy? Walk. Okay, Space. excellent. Five minutes Walk. every day. Walk. Walk and a stretch. Walk. 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 Five minutes. And a stretch. Next question. How much water do you need to drink? Eight. 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 What can you do in your what time out? Time? 20 minutes. Listen to music. Listen yeah. to music. And listen walk. to music. Press walk. 20 minutes. Walk. Get up. Press okay. Press 20 minutes. Mm. Let's see which practice say love of life. Use the bell. Wear the seat bell. Okay. Wear the seat bell. Wear the seat belt. Wear the seat belt. Okay, now he, um, I have another advice. I want to have a healthy life. I want to have a healthy life. Yo a quiero healthy. tener una vida saludable. I want to, to have a healthy life. Sorry. Eat a healthy to... diet. Eat lots of fruit and vegetables. Don't eat fast food. Drink the lots of water. Food. Don't That's drink water. too much caffeine or sugary yeah. drinks yeah. like yeah. soda. Caffeine, sugar. I always 
I owe you, I owe you a tire and a politics. Do not go to the Son como mi conciencia cuando lo escucha todos. It's okay. Now let's see the second example. I always feel tired and sleepy. Yo siempre me siento cansado y... I always feel tired. What is sleepy? Yo cansado y aliento. Con sueño. Por mi long. Sueño aliento. Sonoliento. Así es, sonoliento. So, don't, do not go to sleep too late. Look at the first one. Do not go to sleep too late. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Don't eat in bed. Also, don't check your phone from bed. Look at the next one. ¿Quién hace esa actividad? La última. Check your phone from the bed. Everybody. All people. Everybody. All of you guys. Oh, don't do that, please. Don't do that. I see TikTok after this. Don't check your phone from bed. That is bad for your health. So let's see the other problems here. I am depressed. I am depressed. Do not, do not stress too much. It's day, find time to relax. Take a walk, eat and watch the sunset. Talk with friends and family. Don't spend too much time on social media. Don't spend too much time on social media. So do you have any question about vocabulary? Social, social media I means social media are the application right that social that we um, use almost every day to have a communication with other people okay. that is social media um, okay. the application that that you use to watch videos uh, to text with your friends to have a video call with your friends. So that is social media applications. When uh, you see a doctor, you feel, feel sick. And see in the last, a doctor once a year. Yes, see a doctor once a year. Listen to your doctor and follow her or his advice. And don't wait to see a doctor. Don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. No esperes a ver tu médico si te sientes mal. Okay, yes, and the last one probably is the most important. Don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. Okay, and again, you are going to find a lot of examples of imperative sentences in, in this small conversation, right? Hay muchos ejemplos acá. Let's say, for example, do not stress too much, find time to relax, take a walk. Sit and watch the sunset. Y siéntese tranquilo, vea la puesta del sol. Talk with friends and family. Y spend time with your family, with your friends. And don't spend too much time on social media. So all of them are examples of imperative sentences for giving advices. And igual, ¿verdad? El último ejemplo. Si a doctor once a year, listen to your doctor. Follow her or his advice. Don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. All of them are examples of. ¿Qué tipo de Pretty good. Pretty good. Eh, Son ejemplos de oraciones. ¿Cómo se llaman? Imperativas. Okay. Imperative sentences. Very good. Imperative sentences. Do you have any question about tonight's class? No. No question. Everything is clear. Thank you. Okay, much. we are about to finish. So finish. thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Everybody. It was nice to be here with nice. all of you. Okay. Nice. Okay. So thank you very much for being here with me tonight. Thank you. Uh, today is Monday, right? And I know that you are tired. You want to go to sleep. Uh, but please, if you have, uh, if you still have um, a little of energy, don't forget to work on the platform, please. Uh, it is important that you complete those exercises and evaluation, right? Uh, this week, section three, and also the mean term. Al final de esta semana, tiene que estar completa la sección tres y el examen de medio curso, ¿verdad? Okay. The mean term. Okay.
Okay? So, please, okay. don't okay. forget okay. about that. Keep thank that you. in mind, please. Uh, thank you very much. Again, uh, have a nice night. Sleep very well. And see you. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See, 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 you my friend. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good night.